Hi, my lovely Aquariuses. Continued happy Aquarius season. New moon in Aquarius on the 4th, the first day of this reading. So this new moon is going to be bringing in a lot of new energy for mental clarity. It's a beautiful time for manifesting guys because it's like a fresh clean slate there aren't a whole lot of dominant energies in terms of areas of life it's just bringing in mental clarity and helping us to see that dreams can really happen so this is a good time good time for manifestation we're gonna see what's coming up in the week ahead i am using the sasara beto uh tarot a lot of you asked what deck it was in the love readings here's your monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is going to be a general reading, guys, about work, finance, uh, family, spirituality, all of that good stuff. If you want love readings, I will have the link to the love readings in the description. So you can check out the love readings after this video if you would like. And I will pull one spirit message for you all. Okay, some spirit homework here for the week ahead. New moon coming in, manifesting, you know, any messages regarding that for our lovely Aquarius friends. All right. This one wants to come out. This is going to be your message here. Okay, lovelies, let's jump right on in and see what's going on. Monday, Tuesday, I had the deck upside down. I don't read reversals, those of you who know me know that i don't read reversals okay uh because i don't want to freak you out and put negativity out there we're just going to focus on what energy spirit is talking about bringing in six of wands is coming up for your monday tuesday six of wands is victory six of wands is about overcoming obstacles and challenges you guys are you know you're in your season right now you've got the new moon in your house and you're in your zodiac sign so you're definitely going to have a lot of mental clarity or seeing how your vision can actually happen or pan out or come together a lot of you are overcoming heartache that's what i'm hearing that's what I'm hearing from spirit. I heard healing from broken heart, overcoming broken heart. Some of you have been in a, in a hopeless place maybe for a while or like you've been trying to be positive and trying to move forward. But maybe in the back of your mind or somewhere in your heart, there's been a heaviness and you've been super optimistic and super positive about, well, you know, I'll focus on, you know, my goals or I'll focus on keeping busy and you've been doing a good job. But that energy, that little, that little part of you that's being haunted is finally being released. And what a beautiful gift that is. Your Wednesday, Thursday, Aquarius is king of swords okay this is air sign energy my friends so coming into that again that mental thinking that mental clarity king of swords for me is the negotiator um it's the you know the implementer of plans and strategies when king of swords comes up your feelings are not in the way you're able to do what you need to do that's going to be not only in your best interest but in the best interest of all, because King of Swords is, like I said, that negotiator and is really good at figuring out how to make situations a win-win for everybody involved, okay? Queen of Swords is a little more cutthroat. Like, she doesn't have time to play. She doesn't have time for anybody's BS. King of Swords is more like, how can I win this person over? Or how can I do this in a way where they're... Um, uh, able to, to see my way or to work with me in what I'm trying to do. What can I give them so it's worth their while? I think it was Winston Churchill who said, uh, um, I don't know if he said eloquence or, 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 or tact or, or something or, or being articulate. It's telling somebody to go to hell in such a way that they look forward to the trip, you know, like being able to put a positive spin on almost anything to where the person's like, you know, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm all in. Like, let's do this. People are able to see what's in it for them. You're not telling people to go to hell, obviously. Hopefully not. You know, but definitely you're able to, to get people on board with what you're trying to do. I feel like some of you might be starting some kind of a project, some kind of a coalition, some kind of a business, um, some kind of a co-op maybe. Some of you might be doing something within your community. And when I say community, I mean maybe like people that are into your same artistic interest or, or in your work field. 
where you're bringing people together and you're creating something okay but this is definitely you know emotions are not getting in the way and, and you're able to move forward that also means fear you know fear self-doubt all of that is out of the way eight of cups when eight of cups comes up it's really about for me your wish comes true and then you're like okay but like I thought I would feel different. I got what I wanted. I thought it was going to feel different. I thought I was going to be happier. And now I have it, but I'm not necessarily happier. It's like something is missing. I got what I wanted, but something's still missing. Like if you ever sat down and you were eating a meal and you were like, it tastes good, but something is off. It's missing something. I'm not sure what it is. Is it salt? Is it pepper? Is it garlic? Like, you know, you, you might be trying to pinpoint what is off about this or what can I add that I'm going to enjoy it more. And that's what I feel like with Ada. Of cups you have something really great in front of you you worked hard for it it's something good but you're looking for something more and in my experience most of the time that missing element is something within your own spirituality or fulfillment something that's giving you purpose or meaning when eight of cups comes up i feel like you're looking for purpose or meaning um, I have not, I'm going to be very honest, I have not read the descriptions that the artist of this deck has included to explain her art. But for me, the first thing I thought about when I saw this, you know, like I think a lot of uh, women can relate. We go through a period in our time where we go through a bad breakup or something and we'll do something very drastic with our hair. We'll chop it off, we'll dye it a, a, a crazy color, we'll do something completely new. Another saying, like, you know, uh, show me a woman who changes her hair. She's about to change her life, something along those lines. That's what I got with this. Like, just kind of being fed up and taking back your power, you know? Like, just something about women in our hair. I, some of you maybe can relate. Some of you maybe can relate to this, you know? But, um, again, I haven't read the booklet to see how the artist explains the symbolism here. But to me, it's it's like letting also kind of also in some ways letting go of vanity you know or letting go of what other people's expectations are of you like you know people with short hair might always be told oh you know you should grow it longer or oh you have such beautiful long hair don't cut it like we hear things like that all the, all the time and you know here this person is like chopping off their hair so um to me it's just making drastic changes and not being so concerned with what other people are going to think about these changes. You're stepping up and you're saying, I'm going to do things a different way. I'm going to go on a little adventure here. I'm going to go on a little journey here. And so a lot of you are coming into that energy towards the end of the week, looking for something that's going to be more fulfilling or more meaningful for you. Um, I don't know. I just feel like some of you, I'm hearing treasure hunt, treasure hunt, treasure hunt. You're going on a treasure hunt and it might not even be financial. Um, and this is really weird. This is really like far out of left field, but I, f I, I'm hearing it. So therefore, if I'm hearing it, I have to say it. I feel some of you are doing something with, with trying to trace back your family steps or your family lineage. Some of you may even be planning on like traveling to other states or another country or something. You're trying to get in touch with your roots and you're trying to figure out what you think they may have believed in that time or what their background was spiritually or religiously, uh, culturally. Some of you are really, really getting into like ethnic roots or cultural roots. Um, but really looking for identity in that way, I feel is happening with some of you. Your soul work card here ah, is unexpected. So something very unexpected is going to happen. I actually kind of got chills because while I was shuffling, I was thinking of this card. Um, <laughs> now here it is for you, Aquarius. Uh, this is about unexpected opportunities as you're going on a journey. What did I say? End of the week, a lot of you are beginning to take steps because you're searching for meaning. And, and for some of you, it might be down the path of like your identity and your ethnic background or family background or cultural background or spiritual background, whatever it might be. But along this journey, you're going to find things you weren't expecting to find. For some of you, it could be soul family. It could be a new partner it could be uh changes that are happening that are making you a better person and therefore you know benefiting and healing an existing relationship whether it's romantic or familial or friendships or whatever it might be there are pleasant surprises that are awaiting you on this journey ahead but i really feel aquarius a lot of you are stepping out 
into finding yourselves in a really big, massive, huge way that's going to be more empowering than anything you've done up until now. And some of you have done some serious work. Like some of you have really been doing like therapy and self-help and spirituality and energy healing, but something really massive is coming your way. And I feel you're taking those first few steps this week and i'm so excited for you i can't wait to hear about it my friends make sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos they will add more information if you need a private reading the link for uh private readings is in the description love videos all of that good stuff guys check out the description of the video everything you need is there all right my dears take care